Um, huh. Well, so I'm not really 100% on what free speech means specifically, but I don't think it means like aggression against people who. What does free speech mean to me? Yeah, it's it's a complicated. It's it's hard to spitball on free speech a little bit because I, I feel like there's the fundamental. You're allowed to speak your mind. Uh, I, I think that you know t uh, free speech itself is is very. Um, That wasn't a good thought. What is it? So freedom of speech is the freedom of expression. I feel like it's... Is it people doing things? Hmm. We don't already know what is accepted or not accepted. We all have to grow together, you know, from Trials into adulthood. Free speech is important to me because that's how society progresses. It's through dialogue and through um, expressing of views, basically exposing them to, to sunlight so they can be taken apart and the good bits pulled out and, and help society progress. It's always good to um, really uh, practice your, your voice to make sure our free speech um, doesn't get taken away and to make sure that our free speech isn't restricted. I've recently been reminded a lot of a, of a quote, it's a favorite of mine, that's, I think it's often attributed to Voltaire himself, but it was actually written by Evelyn Beatrice Hall, who wrote the biographies of Voltaire, and she wrote, um, I disagree with what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. It's very difficult to have a perfect, pure, free speech. You know, there's an old saying, something along the lines of like, uh, you know, you can't yell fire in a crowded theater. And the underlying guiding principle there is you, what you say might hurt other people. Well, obviously, you know, fire in a crowded theater is not free speech because it incites um, instant mob reaction. I think free speech to me means um, a little bit different than what I think a lot of people in the wake of recent events uh, believe that it means. With freedom of speech in America, uh, it's an all or nothing situation. The second that you start trying to curtail people's right to say things because of the content of the free speech is the second that you start opening the door for a downhill slide into censored speech. Some people will say you have to allow all speech it's difficult to say that because that allows people to uh, organize uh, very hateful things. That sort of free speech that's promoting hatred and um, in some cases like violence, I don't, I don't feel like that that is under that blanket of freedom of speech. I don't think hate speech is free speech. I think that's, that's dumb. People who think that are dumb. I'm from a country that has a lot of restrictions on, on speech. Uh, so, yeah, um, I think America, probably more than any other country in the world, uh, really has got free speech right. It's really great, you know, because I tweet a lot of mean things about the president on my Twitter. And in any other country, like, I could die if I did that, but not here, you know? They can't get me. Um, even though I'm sure they want to. Free speech, I think, is being able to state your views, state your beliefs, state your values, and be respected and allowed to speak that. As far as free speech goes, you also have to have an understanding of, you know, that we're all humans and that you, you know, a certain level of respect is needed, <laughs> like, you know, when, when interacting, like it's, you know, if you're not respecting anyone, then who's, who's going to respect you? It is the idea that we all have opinions that matter. And I think it's also about respecting each other's opinions and being mindful and listening. Listening, the art of listening is a lost form and we all should listen more to each other. We become so divisive and I think that the best way to kind of attack this divisiveness is 
just to learn to listen as well as learn to speak. The free speech and the First Amendment are a way for everybody to kind of debate on the same page with each other and everybody to kind of like have a level playing field, um, especially with regard to generally activist groups that or causes that are not very popular. Often the First Amendment and the protection of free speech rights allows them to actually get their message out and not be censored by the government, which is really important. Interestingly, the, the tech companies have no obligation to protect free speech rights, which is kind of an emerging problem. The only thing stopping them would be backlash. So free speech to me is the ability to be able to express yourself and your own beliefs, your own perspectives, your own opinions um, freely and without um, intimidation or, um, you know, uh, being censored from by the government um, or being punished. Uh, actually, I take that back. I take that back because um, free speech also is about the freedom to uh, to, dis to disagree and the freedom to um, challenge the fact uh, that you know some people have um, bigger microphones and higher podiums, so to speak, metaphorically than others um, in this landscape, in this political climate. I think here at Somerville Media Center, we are a really unique space that we are um, embedded in the community very deeply with other organizations, with residents, with our neighbors, and we care so much about what's happening around us. And we utilize our venue for a place to connect, to share, to learn, to be inspired. At our role here, working at a community media center, is is ever more critical because our goal is to, um, you know, in some small way, disrupt. Um, the the regular channels of who's allowed to speak and how they're allowed to speak. And so our role here as a community media center is to, um, in some small way, tip that balance back towards democracy and back towards, you know what, you don't have to pay a lot of money to be able to speak your mind, to be able to run a show, do a radio show, do a TV show, create a film, um, teach a class, right? Um, that, that sense of empowerment of, um, you know, giving everybody a voice. So that's what free speech means to me.